Hello, hello, hello. Amphrey out of here, your pop culture psychic, back to you again with another free Britney reading. I will put a link to my last one up here, and I'll put a link in the bio to all of the free Britney readings that I have done. I am a huge Britney Spears stan, and I told you guys that I would consistently update you, and it is time for a new update. So, um, I did say that I believe the past couple, I forget what I said, which month I said was important. Was it September? I think so. Anyways, a lot of them have been right. I'm sure you guys know that already. So recently, Brittany has been appointed a new um, lawyer. So she's made a lot of strides in getting her freedom. I had said that it looked like the beginning of her freedom coming was happening, and it looks like that's happening. So that was accurate. Um, but there's been a lot of stuff about Brittany going to court saying that she's scared of her dad. So I'm going to try and see what the dynamic is like between her and her dad, allegedly. And kind of see if there's any more updates or anything new going on since you guys have hounded me and harassed me and messaged me. I love you guys. The Britney army is the best. Although I like to call us the Britney bitches, but whatever. Um, so remember, these readings are all alleged for entertainment purpose only. And let's get started. Okay, so I'm initially going to be looking at Britney's dynamic with her dad. Let me see if I can move this forward so that you guys can see the camera. Um, okay. Well, there's the devil card. Shocker. I mean, I don't think anybody is shocked to see the devil card there. Yeah. Okay. So, um, Queen of Cups is reversed. So, obviously, Brittany is emotionally distraught and emotionally checked out with the relationship with her dad. Um, I definitely think that she's numb. So I'm not seeing animosity as much as I'm seeing numbness. Between the two of them is the devil card. That probably is not super shocking. Uh, devil is negativity, manipulation, abuse, misuse, uh, things like that. Uh, issues with, you know, anything. Like that's the tension. You're going to pull a devil card like that. So it does look to me like that's toxic for sure. Uh, the two of cops is upright, which to me means that he thinks that he, like this is his way of showing love. He really does think that he loves her and that this is how you show love. So I think that he just maybe has like a weird upbringing or a different definition of what love is. That's kind of toxic. Um, because to me, it reads as like, this is how I, I do love you. I do care for you. Why are people attacking me? Like, he honestly has no idea. Um, so it, it does look to me like, yeah, it does look to me like he, because what he's going to argue is I've been fighting for you for forever. I've always been your biggest cheerleader. I've made you a shit ton of money. And the Six of Pentacles says you didn't follow through with any contracts or anything as well as you did with me. So basically his argument is going to be that the money that we were making was only possible because of the things that I put in place and because I was able to get you to do them. Um, so like I think that's where his argument with being paid for and being paid so well is going to be is because like, well, none of this money would have been made without me. Like none of this, you weren't consistent. You weren't reliable. You wouldn't have gotten the contracts you got with the six of pentacles. You wouldn't have followed through with it. Um, and the 10 of pentacles is like, I set up your stuff for long term. So he's just kind of stuck in that, like I fought for you and this is what I did mentality. I honestly think that Jamie, unfortunately, just doesn't realize that he's overstayed his welcome. I think that perhaps there were some positive things that he was able to do in the beginning of the conservatorship, but it's just too much now. And I think that his overprotective Dark Child remix uh, nature has kind of just poured into a toxic uh, connection. Um, I also am a little bit concerned. I know there were some allegations about him and the kids. And with the Five of Wands being a confrontation Card. I think that he shows up as a confrontational person, and I do sometimes worry about Five of Wands and Devil card together uh, being a toxic combination. I've seen that with a lot of people who do do things that are a little bit inappropriate uh, or boundary breaking. Sometimes I do see physical aggression with cards like that. I'm not saying that's what happened. I'm just saying that that's what sometimes it showcases as uh, in other readings. So I do think that there is a small worry for me in terms of him controlling his uh, actions and his energy and keeping boundaries in place. 
Um, I also think he has a history, the world's upright with the four of swords and the ten of wands, allegedly for an purpose only. It does look to me like there is a history in place of him saying no to things. So one of the things that I think will be positive um, for, um, for Brittany is we're looking at the four of swords, the world, and the ten of wands. So one, him canceling the world tour and everything like that. Uh, th there's a world tour or some sort of tour being canceled. I don't know if that's like a previous world tour or if that ends up being domination getting canceled and then it's just showing up as the world because it's like a big event. I can't really tell if it's one or both tours, um, but it does look like that's going to be his downfall because I do think there's something weird or shady attached to that with the four of swords and the ten of wands, which is a burden, which means someone has a piece of information is waiting to release it. So I do think we're going to get some information, some tea about either a world tour and World and domination or just domination in general uh that got canceled um so um i will also say that um there should be people coming forward about being mistreated by him uh i think that he doesn't have the best bedside manner i think his articulation and the way he speaks to people needs to be reworked because it looks like he might have an attitude and might be a little bit rude i don't think he's kind in the way he speaks and i think that's going to be something that people are going to be coming forward about there might be a character witness or something like that that ends up being there i can't quite tell but i can tell you that people have, have been chewed out by him before um verbally uh, so yeah, he thinks that Brittany is incapable of saying no. That's his argument is that Brittany can't say no. That's his argument. That's going to be his argument moving forward. Brittany doesn't know how to say no. She can't say no. Um, how? Sorry. I just hit the mic. Mic check one, two. Okay. Um... Yeah, he's going to say Britney's in a vulnerable place. He's going to say that she doesn't know the world. Like, she doesn't have a realistic approach on the world. And the Five of Cups says that he's going to say that when she's upset, she doesn't handle it well. The problem is, is that they, she's been in a bubble. So his his he doesn't have a solution for that problem. I do think that there's a part of Britney that... that maybe isn't really aware of certain things, but it's because she's been isolated for over 10 years and in a bubble her entire life. So I think that he is going to use this as a convenient excuse, but it's because he helped generate that. He created that. So, um, yeah, I mean, she's got to learn through her own experiences. There's a collaboration. There's a collaboration that fell through that's also going to be questioned at one point. The Two of Pentacles is a work work collaboration. And the Four of Cups is detachment. The Ace of Swords is an opportunity. There has to be a collaboration at one point that got messed up. And it's going to be a point of contention at some point because it would have been a very big deal. Um someone sabotaged this for britney someone sabotaged a collaboration for britney yep death is upright which means sabotage that's the sabotage the queen of swords is about pushing her away or alienating her which means like purposely not giving the information so that it fucks up and the knight of swords impure intention so someone sabotaged a connection on purpose it was like spitefulness yep i knew it spitefulness and pettiness with the five of swords someone was being spiteful and petty um, and purposely trying to sabotage that from her own camp. I don't know if that's Jamie or someone else, but yes. Um, the Four of Pentacles is a greedy, selfish card. It's because they tried to go through someone else, and they didn't get specific permission from him. Perhaps he found Brittany talking to someone herself. I don't know. All I know is that it's a very much like, well, I wasn't involved, and so because I'm not involved, I'm going to sabotage this. The Hangman is about letting go, and the Page of Wands upright. We either got a leak of something from this or there will be a leak from this but it, it it's the reason why something was leaked at some point or will be leaked it looks like it's some sort of collaboration i can't tell if it's a song because it's the page of one so it could be a song but it could also be any creative endeavor um but there was a leak or there will be a leak from this and it's because of that um and i'm gonna be honest with you i don't know who leaked it i don't know if it's the person that they were collaborating with or if it was britney herself um, but there is, there was a strategic leak there. Okay. Five of Swords is diverse. That's the abuse of power that we're seeing here. The Ten of Swords is self-sabotage and Knight of Pentacles. Basically, they're going to be looking at the behavior 
But like I said before, it's the money spending for me. Uh, the money spending is what's going to be the catalyst to getting Britney free. Um, there's something that he spent money on every single year that's going to be the nail in the coffin for his control over the finances. Um, or at least his control over her. If There may be some sort of financial control left over. But um, all I can tell you is that it's the consistent spending of money on some specific aspect that... Um, it's going to cause him to lose control. It, it That's what they're going to nail him for. It's the misspending of the funds. Um, I wonder if they're going to get her in tax trouble. Yeah, the tower's upright, the hermit's upright, and the lover's card's reversed. It's like, it's like something that could get you in, in trouble. Um, the lover's card is reversed, so I don't know if it's tax trouble or something else, but I can tell you there's something there. I'm also still seeing that as her and sam like i know like listen sam is super cute and i want britney to be happy but there's something off about their dynamic i know we saw that he's getting paid uh certain things allegedly uh in the court talks allegedly something like that i don't know forgive me i'm not super well versed on everything but i heard that and the lover's card diverse and the tower's upright, which is drama and the hermit is about feeling isolated. I think that Brittany feels alone in that relationship. I think she feels isolated. I don't think that she's happy. I don't buy it. Uh, she might pretend or say she is, but I just don't believe it. Um, the unknown card's upright, which is like, well, I don't want to take a le leap of faith and a risk because I have nothing else right now. And the Eight of Wands is up right with the Ace of Cups reverse, which is usually not a loving bond. That's like, as soon as I can, I'll replace you. Like, I need my, once I, things change and I get my freedom. Like, I don't know. I just don't really buy it. Like, I don't buy her being happy there. I, I think it's just, I think he's just like a dick to her, you know? Like, you know what I mean? Like, you're just a guy. Like, at least I have a guy. It's better with a guy than without. Like, I honest, I'm going to be honest, I think Brittany just got bored of him pretty quickly. I know she gets bored of guys pretty quickly, but I think she got really bored of him pretty quickly. I think he was just supposed to be like a toy for her. But like she, yeah, I don't know. I'm not really, I'm not really buying their connection. I don't even, maybe he's not aware of this. He might not be aware of it. I mean, Brittany's a very smart girl. I still see it as a comfort relationship though. Seven of Pentacles reverse, Page of Cups reverse, and Four of Wands. Wait a minute. Is that an X? Why do I feel like there's an X that's gonna that's gonna be important coming up here soon? I wonder if it's Jason. I remember when she was dating Jason that they were talking about him taking over at one point. And I'm wondering if after they broke up, there's some tea there. Hmm. That was during the femme fatale era, wasn't it? Like 2012? Six of Swords is the internet, the Seven of Wands is upright, and the Three of Pentacles is a verse. So it's like outside of job. So it has to be outside of this. Hmm. The internet plays a part in that somehow. Seven of Wands is about being vindicated for something. There's some sort of rumor from 2012 that has some relevancy and that gets brought back up. There's something from when she was with Jason, and it's a rumor from 2012 that's going to get brought up. It's during that era. I don't know what that means. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's pertaining to Britney or someone else at the time, whether it's someone she worked with. She was working with Dr. Luke at the time. I don't know. But that's coming very clear. From 2012, during the era when she was with Jason, the femme fatale era. There's something with the femme fatale era that was on the internet that's going to have relevance moving forward. It's a rumor, but I think there's something attached to it that has relevancy. Yep, return of the old. Try to walk away from it, but we manifest something from that. And it's pertaining to Brittany. And her career. What is this? Friction? I don't think that's sex. I think it's friction. 
embarrassment, family issue, or circle issue, like the people in a circle, not worth fighting for. Something got covered up. Allegedly. Yeah, the fool's reverse. They pulled the wool over everyone's eyes. Was femme fatale a distraction from something? Hmm. Yeah, stars reverse, nine of pentacles is upright, and moon re reverse. Yes. Something is going to be exposed from the femme fatale era. Yes. Around 2012. Something that the, that people must have blamed Britney for, but it wasn't her fault. Some, I don't know what that is, but that's coming through very strong, and that should be very important to the free Britney movement somehow. Okay. Um, let's pull from the Dark Mirror Oracle deck. I mean, I'm, I'm not surprised. I mean, we're probably going to get the same old, same old with this deck, but we might as well pull from it. Anger and chains. We know Brittany's pissed off. Perchance to dream she feels like fighting is no point because she feels like she'll never win. Sacrifice, she felt like she let go of everything. She was willing to let go of her career, we know that. Revenge, hey, that's our girl, yes. Envy and gluttony, oh yes. Triumph of lies, perfect, this is what I wanted to read. So, this is how she was feeling, this is how she's going to feel. So, the start we see anger, then we see perchance a dream, what's the point, no one cares. This is how she's been feeling consistently and then we see um sacrifice which is about wanting to let go and giving up then in comes the britney movement the free britney movement um and then we see revenge which means she's gonna be coming for these hoes and envy and gluttony okay which means a few things the first one here is obviously about um people just like taking from her being envious and just wanting her for her money and stuff like that and triumph of lies is about people having to atone for what they did and it's also about you know her speaking her truth that would be like you know a tell-all book or an honesty thing like we're gonna see her eventually speak publicly she's gonna say something eventually it's gonna happen um so that's the good news i'm also gonna tell you this and i'm gonna leave you with this okay Envy and gluttony means that she, unfortunately, because she wasn't able to do what she wants, she for a while felt really bad about herself because she was comparing herself to other pop stars and she was frustrated that she wasn't able to do the things she wanted to do because they wouldn't let her. So I do think that there is a little bit of envy and gluttony at the ability of other pop stars uh, being able to change their sound and evolve and do all the creative stuff they wanted to do and her not being able to. So I do think there was a little bit of an anger and a frustration um, of her feeling stunted and not being able to express herself the way she needed to. So I see rebellious energy in Britney. I wonder if this was going on in 2012 because I see rebellious energy in Britney. I see her being like, well, F you. And I think that that's still there. So, I guess we'll pull one more. Carlos Angel. So, ow. Uh, Carlos Angel is all about uh, being numb from fighting. So, it's like I slayed the dragon, but like, I still feel bad. So, yeah. Post-Britney Freedom, she's still got a lot of work to do. I'm not going to lie. But I, I do think she will be free. I'm going to be honest with you. I do. It's going to take a while. But I do. So hopefully that helps. I love Britney Spears more than I love myself. So I love you, Britney. I know she'll never watch this, but goddamn, I love that woman. She is my everything and will always be my everything, my biggest source of inspiration in life. So shout out to all the pair. Shout out to the Britney army and shout out to uh, how lovely the Free Britney movement has been. Make sure you guys follow me, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Amphrodite. Uh, I stream these on Twitch live. Uh, and yeah, let me know what you thought in the comments. Until next time, bye guys.